Problem Solving, Take Apart Three-Dimensional Shapes, Lesson 11.4. So all through Chapter 11, we've been learning about three-dimensional shapes. And there's the cube, the sphere, the rectangular prism, the cone, and the cylinder. And they're also called 3D shapes. We put a number 3 for the word 3 and a D for dimensional. And we can take apart combined shapes by acting it out. Tim chose some shapes to build a person. Circle the shapes Tim used. So, do you see that he used a cube? Do you see a cube in this little man? Yeah, there's one right here for the body, isn't there? So he did use a cube. Do you see rectangular prisms? Yeah, that's the arms and the legs, right? He used rectangular prisms for that. Do you see a sphere? Yeah, there's a sphere for the head, isn't there? Do you see a cylinder? Are there any cylinders in this little man? No, I don't see any cylinders, do you? No. What about a cone? Yeah, he's got a cone for a hat, doesn't he? So those are the shapes he used. So how many of each did he use? How many cones did he use? Look at this little man. Can you count how many cones there are? There's just one for the hat, isn't there? So there's one cone. How many spheres did he use? Let's look at the little man. Do you, how many spheres do you see? Just one for the head. So there's only one sphere for the head. How about cubes? How many cubes did he use? I see one cube for the body. So that's one cube. How many rectangular prisms did he use? Let's count the rectangular prisms. One, two, three, four. He used four. So we could take apart this 3D shape, the combined shape, and act it out, can't we? We can imagine it in our head that we're taking it apart. And Tali used shapes to make this pattern. Circle the shapes she used. Did she use any spheres to make this pattern with her, her 3D shapes? No, I don't see any spheres. Do you see any cones? No, I don't see any cones. Do you see cubes? Yes, I see cubes. I see one, two, three, four cubes. Did she use rectangular prisms? I see one, two, three rectangular prisms. So yes, she did use rectangular prisms. How about cylinders? Do you see if she used any cylinders? No, I don't see any cylinders. So we know she used Cubes and rectangular prisms. How many of each did she use? How many cubes did she use to make this? One, two, three, four cubes. How many rectangular prisms did she use to make this? One, two, three. She used four cubes and three rectangular prisms to make this with her 3D shapes. It says, circle the ways that show the same shape. So here's our shape. We need to circle all the ways that make the same shape. Does this make the same shape as this? Yeah. It's kind of long, just like this. So yeah, that made the same shape using two rectangular prisms. Does this make the same shape? If you said yes, you're right. Do these make the same shape as this one? Well, it's got three cubes going across, and this only has two, so that one is not the same shape. What about this? 
Does this make the same shape as this? No, it's not long enough, and there's no opening in the middle, is there? What about this one? Does this make the same shape? Yes, it does. Kind of looks like a, a doorway, doesn't it? Okay. Emma wants to build this shape. So how many rectangular prisms does she need? Can you count the rectangular prisms in that shape? There are one, two, three, four rectangular prisms. If you said four, you got it right. Bob wants to build this shape. How many cubes does he need? Can we count them? I see in the front here, I see one, two, three, four, but what about behind here? There's some cubes in the back. I see four, five, six, and these two back ones must be sitting on top of two cubes to hold them up, right? Otherwise they would be lower. So there must be four in the back and four in the front. Do you see how that happened? So we have four in the front, four in the back, four plus four is equal to eight. Eight cubes. Dave wants to build this shape. How many rectangular prisms does he need? We can look at the side and see one, two, three, four rectangular prisms. So just remember when you're looking at a stack of cubes like this, there must be some cubes hiding in the back that are holding these up, right? Okay. Our next lesson is going to be two-dimensional shapes on three-dimensional shapes. That's lesson 11.5. Two-dimensional shapes are flat. So we're going to have some flat shapes on top of some space shapes. Okay? Keep trying hard. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.